Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be painting on black watercolor paper, which is something that I've been meaning to do for a while. I have done a few pieces in the past on regular black paper. It was not specifically for watercolor and it was quite thin. Uh, this one is 140 pound weight. It's made of 100% cotton and it is cold pressed and the texture is quite fine, which is really nice. So it is a very beautiful paper. It's made by Legion and I found it at a Canadian website online uh, called Above Ground Supplies. But if you live in the US, I have seen it also on Amazon and if I'm not mistaken at Dick Blick online. The paints I'm using are by Kramer Pigments and I'm also using silver black velvet brushes. And for your information, all the supplies will be listed in the description of this video. So if you're watching on a computer, you just have to click on show more underneath the video window. And if you're watching on a mobile device, you can click that little arrow that you'll find underneath the video at the bottom right hand corner. This will expand the description and you'll just have to scroll until you uh, get to the supplies list. I'm going to next try to describe <laughs> the way I've painted this. It's always very difficult for me to find the right words to communicate what I'm trying to say or what I'm doing. But essentially my initial approach was to create something very abstract. When I laid down the first um, spot of paint, I wasn't sure that it was going to be floral. Um, and then eventually I got into that natural motion of creating something that might look like a flower or a bunch of flowers. And I don't know if you've noticed, but my movements are quite abrupt. It's almost as if I'm touching the paper with my brush and then I'm lifting in a very quick manner. And for me, this style of painting is instinctive. I know it can be intimidating to some of you because there's no real structure. Uh, there's no strict guideline, but for me it is liberating. It is how I express my art in the best way possible, I think. And I know, you know, even though I know some people might find this intimidating, I think it's a good thing to practice different techniques or different styles just so that you explore all that there is out there because who knows what you might resonate with you the most. Uh, maybe you're used to painting in a certain way and you've never tried anything else and then all of a sudden you try it and you fall in love and you keep practicing and you know you find your groove so don't this don't discount um something that might look difficult it really isn't at least it isn't for me um and i just want to mention that the leaves that i'm doing are one brush stroke and that's because i wanted those imperfect leaves um especially on the left hand side you can see that they're not well shaped but that's the approach that I decided to take. However, you can very well um, do your loose flower in the background and then shape your leaves the way you want you want them to be. Like if you want them to be a little bit more realistic, uh, you can do that as well. You can marry different styles on one painting. There's nothing wrong with that.
This painting took under five minutes to complete. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was very quick. And in fact, it was so quick that I was able to include some shots uh, in this video taken from a different angle. So that's why you might notice that some of the segments are being repeated, uh, but that's because they were filmed from a different angle. And I thought I'd never say this, but I actually struggled with the doodling. Um, and I couldn't figure out why, why while I was painting. And now that I'm doing the voiceover, I realize that usually when I doodle, especially if I'm going to be making a curved line, which is what I'm doing right now, I am very quick in doing it because that's the best way for me to keep the line, the curve, uh, the, uh, a nice curve. Um, speed is of the essence when you're doing a curved line. But because this white gel pen decided to skip on me, I was not having fun <laughs> because it was very difficult for me to have this curve and not have the pen skip. And then I had to go over the line again. And that is always such a mess <laughs> because then you end up fattening the line. And I, I like my doodles to be very thin. Um, so that was why I was struggling. I just realized that, which is cool. <laughs> I also don't know if the white has its place on this painting, honestly. I think it would have been nice to doodle with just the gold. I'm not sure if the white adds um, something really to the painting. I think it's distracting. But nevertheless, I really do like the painting. And I love that the red is not shimmery in the painting because had I used only metallic colors, I think it would have been too much. I do have a red, as you can tell, probably in my palette, I have that larger pan um, that has a paint that I mixed myself when I went to Kramer Pigments last year. And the pigment I used is Lava Red. It's beautiful. It's amazing gorgeous opaque flashy red but i think it would have been too much i love the contrast between the red which is matte which is not flat at all when i say matte it's not flat because you can you can tell there's different tones in there but it's not shimmery and the gold which is so overpowering I think provides a good contrast to the red without taking away from it. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> super quick painting for me. I can't remember how long it's been since I've done something so quickly. I do love how it turned out overall. I mean, the composition, there are some things that bother me, but that's just me critiquing my work and I'm allowed. <laughs> But I really do like the way it turned out. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say a huge thank you to my awesome patrons who support my art over at Patreon. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions or comments, or even if you've tried painting on black watercolor paper, let me know how it went for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see, see you soon. Mm -hmm.